Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Today I have some very exciting second chance romance recommendations for you. I'm not a huge second chance romance fan, however these kind of just hit the spot. They were written very well or they just hit that emotional side of me. These are well written, emotional, some of these are novellas, some of these are full length, um, but if you are interested in any of those, keep watching. The first recommendation that I have for you is Just One More Time by Rilsey Adams. So Rilsey Adams is consistently a fantastic author for me. Her writing just keeps getting better and better. She's probably my favorite non-dark contemporary romance author. The hero and the heroine had a previous relationship when they were young adults and now they are back in each other's lives. The heroine is a caseworker and she is tasked with helping the hero become the guardian of this boy that he has been fostering. This boy was someone that he was, that he had taken in when the boy lost his mother. He now wants to adopt the child and so they have to work together and of course his feelings and um, all that sparks from there. I don't usually like this trope but this, and this isn't my favorite Rilsey Adams, but I still think she did a fantastic job with Second Chance, a, cha a trope that I don't even really like um, and it's just a beautiful strong relationship that I think was built in adulthood rather than relying on those flashbacks. So then we have The Right Swipe. So this is a book that it has more of like a initial hookup and then an actual relationship and it's about a woman who has her own dating app and the hero, the hero is an ex NFL star and he is like working for her competition and they have a romance. They had a hookup at a previous like conference for apps and it didn't end well. One of them ghosted the other um, and so now they have their second chance. I liked this. I think this is indicative of what you would get from a second chance of a traditionally published book. Regardless, this is still a great one to read. I listened to the audiobook and it was a fantastic experience. I loved the hero. He's very open and communicative about his feelings for the heroine. He is an ex NFL star that is um, really working on promoting mental and physical health in an, in the NFL and their external goals were just fantastic. So then my next recommendation for you is Steadfast. If you have been on my channel for the past couple of months, you'll probably have heard me recommend this book or just talk about it. Um, this is a second chance romance, a hero who has just recently been released from prison and now he is being forced to move back to his hometown where he knew all of the drug dealers, knew the scene, knew the people that would get him drugs. In this town, he has a lot of hatred on him. Uh, when he was a teenager, he was dating the sheriff's daughter and him and the sheriff's son got in an accident while the hero was high that ultimately killed the sheriff's son. So he has a lot of hatred on him. A lot of the town feels like he's a good for nothing. In addition to that, he's obviously fighting his addiction and his his father is deep in alcohol addiction. He is not maintaining their business. So he has a lot riding on his shoulders. Starts working at a soup kitchen. That's when he meets the heroine, the woman that he dated when he was a young adult. I would say more emotional than the other ones on this list, uh, just because of the subject matter, but I still think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the relationship. So then we have Uncovered Truths. This is a pretty short novella and it is about a couple that broke up previously. The heroine had just gotten out of a bad marriage and was working with the hero and her husband at this law firm. Um, and they ended up hooking up while she was separated from her husband. Separate and then they run into each other some years later at a Target and he invites her to his house for a Super Bowl party. She shows up and no one is there and they end up getting snowed in and it goes from there. I really like this. Again, another hero that is very communicative and open about his feelings. And then the last recommendation that I have for you is Last Chance to Love by Be Love. This is another novella and it follows a woman who feels like she is at the end of her ticking clock, if you will. 
she really wants to have a baby but she has no romantic interest in her life and her life has kind of always been about work since the one that got away got away she had a bad experience a bad relationship early on in college and since then she has very much devoted her life to her skincare business and she isn't really looking for love but when she goes to the adoption center they tell her that um, in order to go forward, they're going to give her a year to fall in love. And then within that time, if she can't find a father or, you know, a, 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 another parent for the child, then they'll move forward. And she ends up getting paired with the ex-boyfriend, the one that got away. And now he is back and wants to have another chance with her. So those are the second chance romance recommendations that I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed. I would love to read in the comments your second chance recommendations or if you've read any of these recommendations yourself, I would love to hear it. Other than that, I will catch you guys in my next one. And thanks so much for watching. Pull me in, draw me close. I wanna hear your heartbeat.